sisters. I, I got it. I got it. My award goes to the sisters. David came to me and asked me if I'd be a sponsor a long, not that long ago, but it seems like a while. And I was like, I'd be honored. Like, what? really? I could sponsor this fantastic event. Absolutely, I'm there. There's a story that many of you kind of know uh, that I wanted to tell real quick about a boy who was a mom's boy, who... You know, got kicked, got beat up, got called Tinkerbell, got called every name in the book. Was brutalized in the bathrooms, locked himself in the bathrooms. Didn't know his place in this world. That was me. And most of your stories don't even, they far surpass what's happened to me. And I respect that. And... There's a thing that I talk about when I'm able to give you know, longer speeches, and it's about everyday heroes. And this world needs more than anything everyday heroes. They're James Eady, who ran despite all the odds in the world. He said, I don't care. Man, that guy was there every day. They're David and Adam for throwing this event. They're Carrie Spagnon, who wherever she goes, she wears her pink hair. Which we all tribute. My God, it's the sisters. Yeah. There's, there's tons of them, and I, and I, I thank Kim and Kissy for introducing me to Ish Delay and, and letting me fight that battle. And the people that introduced me, Jordan Davis and Ken Jefferson, also. Woo! Every day, every day warrior. I thank my wife. I, 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 Angela! Angela. <laughs> I, I also want to do a special introduction to John Michael. John who, Michael! You know, I'm a, I'm a kid from, from the University of Alabama who grew up in Alabama in a Republican household. And, and this, this, this wasn't something that was in my world. I didn't understand this. I, I wasn't where those crazy people were on the TV, but I didn't understand it. And then I met John Michael. And then I met Kissy. And then I met Kim. And then I met Ishka. And then I met everybody. And I said, well, wait a minute. They're just like you and me. They're just like you and me. So, you know, I just, I completely blew up my speech. Um, you know, I've got something in there that I want to say. You know, those people on TV, they, they're the same ones that, that, that preached hate are the same ones that are very, very, very pro-life. And life begins at conception. And life is everything. Woo! But they ought to carry guns. Boo. They ought to discriminate. Boo. They also think some lives are more valuable than others, and we're Boo. not going to tolerate that anymore, right? <laughs> so, we've, got, we've got an election coming up in May. We've got a tough choice between somebody that says discrimination doesn't exist and somebody who really hasn't discussed the topic. But there are candidates who are pro-HRO, who are out here fighting for this community. And this community isn't just LGBT, it's Jacksonville. Woo! And we've got to, we've got to, come, we've got to get out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me come up here and have five minutes. Thank you to all the nominees. Thank you to Rusty Mead, who I'm nominated against in my Rusty! God. She, she owns this world. Like, if she gets it, I'm, if I get, I'm giving it to her. I mean, she was born in this community, and I, I, you guys have adopted me, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. God bless you.